Paul Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south. More specifically, we are in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I uh, just drove in now as home for a couple days, uh, but decided to come out here to Myrtle Beach. It's been a few years since I've been out here. A few years since I've seen kind of what's going on here in the Myrtle Beach area. So decided to head out here. Just landed, just drove in from the mountains. Uh, just now, just a few minutes ago, arrived here at Myrtle Beach. And for our first stop here at Myrtle Beach, I wanted to stop by the Family Kingdom Amusement Park here. This is a amusement park right alongside the ocean here. It has been here since 1966. Well, there's some classic rides here wanted to check out. So please, follow me. Over here we have one of the entrances. I uh, think there's several entrances. You can enter from different sides of the park and uh, it's free to enter. All you need, uh, you just need to buy tickets uh, or a wristband to go on the rides once you get inside. It looks like they have an automated uh, wristband and uh, ticket purchasing kiosk right here. All right, looks like it's $48 plus a $2 fee, so $50 for an all-day wristband. We got the receipt there. Where do we, I guess we got to claim our wristband somewhere. Okay, we purchase the wristbands over here, but then we have to get a receipt and claim the receipt at the wristband redemption center. And let's start out strong here. They have this classic wooden roller coaster, the Swamp Fox here. States back to the opening of 1966. Originally it was painted red and known as the Red Devil. It was later changed to the Swamp Fox, named after a revolutionary war hero from South Carolina, Francis Swamp Fox Marion. Oh, and there it goes. See it passing the American flag and the South Carolina flag up there at the top. And then, uh, yeah, it's classic wood roller coaster. You can hear, you can hear the whole structure rumble. And uh, here they come. The entrance of the Swamp Fox over here. As you can see it's an ace roller coaster landmark. They hand these out to some of the classic roller coasters around the country. Our chariot awaits. All right, here we are, rolling on the swamp fox. Oh yeah, you can already feel like the serpentine nature of the wooden track as we uh, round the corner here. Oh man, already feels already feels so rough. Feel that. Uh, that wood, that wood, it's creaking and bending. There we go, climbing, climbing the hill here. Gosh, it's pretty high up here. All right, do you see the ocean? Nice calming ocean breeze blowing in my face. Pass the flag. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so high. So high. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So that was the Swamp Fox. That was uh, pretty insane. Literally one of the most 
intense uh, wooden roller coasters. You know, you feel the rage. You feel every year in there as, as, as you rumble through the coaster. But yeah, that was a very intense experience. I'm not hurt. I didn't feel jarred or moved or anything, but just as just like there was like a lot, a lot of airtime too for a for a wooden roller coaster. Yikes. But I think I actually think I'm gonna hop back on. And our chariot returns. This time we're gonna be trying out the front seat. Alright, we begin begin our path here. Sat in the front. I'm gonna try to give you guys a nice uh, POV. You can see what I was seeing as I rode uh, the swamp box here. Oh my gosh. Build up some speed here. We head up the lift hill. Classic sound of the roller coaster chain. Rising you to your impending doom. Flapping in the wind up there, we got the American flag, the South Carolina flag, and the Family Kingdom flag. There we go. You can see the ocean there in the distance. The uh, Atlantic Ocean, I believe. Oh my gosh. We get to the top here. There's the beach. Woohoo! Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I would like to rate the Swamp Fox roller coaster as certifiably terrifying. So for some reason, every time I went over a hill, I almost, I like literally felt like I was flying out of my seat. Like literally, I felt like I went into the standing position at like only my, there's a seatbelt and a lap bar. So you're definitely safe in there, but it definitely does a good job of creating the illusion of unsafeness. I swear, I kept feeling like I was standing up, like I was on my flat feet. And if my hat looks a little funny, it's because I tried to have my hat between my feet, usually on roller coasters, but because I kept lifting up, I was basically stomping, stomping my hat with both feet during the entire ride. And look at this over here, in the shadow of the Swamp Fox, we have a little train depot with a little train. You gotta ride the train, right? All right, let's get in the back of the train where they have the wildest ride. Some murals here of people enjoying themselves at Family Kingdom, blowing a few bubbles in between rides. Oh, and off we go. See the different murals here, different people on the wall there. Where are we headed? Oh, looks like we're headed into the Swamp Fox. A train through the Swamp Fox here. Oh, look at this guy, I know him. It's the Coyote. Wonder what he's looking. Oh, there's a uh, Scooby-Doo too. We head here underneath the notorious Swamp Fox. Oh yeah, there's the uh, Coyote chasing the Road Runner there. It's making me nervous though being under the Swamp Fox. I'm just waiting for it to come crashing by any second. Yeah, interesting how they fit a train ride in such a uh, small space. You know, just a kind of a very small amusement park here. You can see how the train creatively winds around Family Kingdom.
right into the train right alongside the highway here. Headed under the under the deck here. Oh yeah, tight curve, tight curve right there. See our uh, engineer hard at work up there. See the carousel there from the train. May have to check that out. That's a quite a uh, colorful variety of horses. Headed back into the Swamp Fox here. Okay, we're actually going, in, going around the other way of the Swamp Fox here. Looks like we are pulling back into the station. So we can see over here that the train, the train depot, like we saw the train takes us underneath the Swamp Fox. But also over here, there's an entrance to some antique cars underneath the Swamp Fox. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how they fit an antique car course here under the Swamp Fox. And our car waits. Oh, there we go. Now the steering wheel is merely decorative. Some of these antique car rides, the steering wheel actually will control, will control the car, but you're held in by these, uh, by these, this steel bar. This one's decorative, which you know what? I actually like it better because it uh, equals a smoother ride. Normally you're banging constantly into, uh, into that steel bar in the middle. Here we go. Again, we are we are right underneath, right underneath the the uh, swamp fox. So it could be uh, could be rolling through at any time. But yeah, I can't believe they fit a little antique car course here, completely within the realm of the uh, swamp fox. Again, just wait for it. Just wait for it to come crashing by. The track's right there. Oh, got a little covered bridge there pass through. Oh. Duck here. Oh, there it is. Up there. Swamp Fox is right above us. So yeah, no gas pedal. No steering wheel to worry about. I think that's actually a better way to run the antique cars. Otherwise, they're like pure chaos. This is the puppy roll here. Looks like we have different uh, breeds of dogs. I think that's a Doberman Pinscher. That dog's named Smokey. I said on his bow tie, there's a Dalmatian there. This guy is Fido, the tan one. Rex is the uh, the Doberman. There's Smokey, the gray dog. And I can't I can't get a look. Okay, the Dalmatian is Lucky. I just saw just saw his tag. Now they all have names. So they roll around with people in their stomachs. The rock and tug there. Remember that was one of uh, one of Annabelle's favorites growing up. She always liked coming to the fair and riding the rock and tug. Look at this gorilla here. I don't know if he used to be part of a ride, but uh, he's just standing there with his big old grin on his face. The crazy cabs there. Maybe a lower intensity spinning ride. These people taking a nice, relaxing, Superman-esque flight through the air. 
Look at this terrifying shark here above his pond of uh, pond of flamingos. And I thought I saw a familiar face around this corner here. And yes, Zoltar Speaks. I don't think I've seen this before. I've seen Zoltars, but I like this one here. Actually has that uh, neon above above the box. I think that's pretty rare. And then this giant Zoltar Speak sign next to it. That's actually pretty cool, Zoltar. All right, Zoltar, grant me a wish. I wish I didn't have to ride roller coasters for a living. Zoltar the Gypsy at your service. Uh, today is your lucky day, my friend, for I have a fortune especially for you. Listen closely. Sometimes you can tell a wise person not only by what He's he got says, a banana there for some reason. also by what he doesn't say. Remember, it is much better to say little than to say too much and regret it later. Give Zoltar your treasure. I have much wisdom to share with you. Good old fashioned tilt a whirl ride here by the beach. Swim in the water and then tilt yourself dry. Bumper cars here have kind of a old timey look to them. Like a Mr. Toad style bumper car there. Look at this. Oh, first I thought it was just going to twirl, but it's also going to jump. A little bouncy twirl ride. Whoa! This is unpredictable. Oh, now they're going backwards? Uh-oh. Things get serious when you start the backwards rotation. Oh my gosh. That looks very nauseating. That's in a, in a, in a, in a class all by itself. Speaking of twirling, here is the hurricane, also often known as the Himalaya, or the Matterhorn. Oh yeah, they're going backwards still. beautiful Ferris wheel. I bet there's uh, beautiful views of the ocean, of the beach from up there, but I will never find out because no single riders allowed on a Ferris wheel. Someday I'm gonna figure out a way around this single rider thing. Now this castle here looks suspiciously like the exterior of a dark ride, but there's actually nothing much inside. Just some uh, picnic tables, just really a shaded area to get out of the sun and have a snack. I'm curious if anyone remembers, did there used to be, did there used to be a dark ride in this building? Is that possible or am I just imagining things? If you're looking for something a little tamer than uh, the Swamp Fox, you got the uh, Dragon Flyer here. A little bit milder of a coaster. Some, uh, Terrifying swings over here. Did you guys, did you guys want to go for a swing? I right, yeah, let's 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 do it. Let's go for a swing. I'm totally totally excited to go for a swing. Let's find the perfect uh, perfect swing here. Oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. Rise it up. Rise it up on the swing. High above Family Kingdom. All gonna spin. Oh my gosh. Now these things scare me a little bit. I think the fact that, oh my gosh, the fact that they're just hanging by chains bothers me a little bit. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Okay, that's. Oh, Wendy! Wendy! Oh, okay. Oh, 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 there's a POV. You can see what I'm seeing. It's so terrible. Oh, oh it's drifting. Listening in the wind! Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Okay, it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice having this beautiful view of Family Kingdom, this beautiful view of the ocean here. 
that salty air in my nostrils. Oh, my road so fast I can hardly see. <laughs> I'm getting, getting a little dizzy. Getting a little dizzy, baby. Oh my gosh. Why are we just hanging by chains? Like, how can this be safe? Oh, okay, okay. We're slowing down. We're slowing down. Oh my goodness. That was, that was exhilarating. It was nice. A nice, exhilarating spin above the ocean. We're gently, gently placed back down from whence we came. There we go. Oh, gently, gently put down there. That scared me a little bit. At one point I was a little scared. But by the end I had come to grips with it. But over here is something really fun, the Great Pistolero Roundup. This is an interactive dark ride uh, by Sally Corporation. It's a, uh, a cowboy-themed dark ride. Um, and Sally only made two of these cowboy-themed dark rides. Um, they made this one here, and there's one in Oklahoma at uh, Frontier City. Uh, but yeah, it's kind of the, the boo, boo blaster style where you shoot at the targets. But uh, this one, cowboy themed. One of the only two that are cowboy themed. As we enter through the queue here, we have the armory. It's like he's looking for, uh, he's got a reward for El, El Belcho. Some sort of belching bandit. Oh, look at this guy. Old people beating in dirty pistoleros are up to their bank robbing tricks again. He's that crowd. Yes, the pistoleros are up to their bank robbing tricks. He's not one of Pico Chico. Makes the very best of money in the whole world. So could use him in the kitchen. <laughs> our chariot awaits. All right, we got our uh, our pistolero there. Oh, look at that. Makes the, the old west pistol noise. Are you ready, amigos? Shoot straight. Yeah, it's got, got the speaker right here. Goal. Regular targets are 10 points. All right, so we'll look for El, El Belcho. 30 points. But watch out for those sneaky pistoleros. Good luck, my friend. Oh, the chicken coop there. Oh, my aim. My aim is off. Well, there's a pistol arrow right there. It's the barber shop. Watch out for that pistol arrow. Got that one. What's this? The bedrooms, a bedroom scene. There's a couple waking out of the bed. Oh, there's another. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, gosh, an explosion. All right. How many, pist how many pistol arrows did we get? Great going, amigos. You found the gold and the pistol arrows. Said I found the gold and the pistol arrows. Back in the holsters and wait till the car stops. Before you lift the safety bar. All right. Thanks for being great deputies. Let's do. Let's do one more ride through. I feel. I feel like I could hit a few more pistol arrows this time. All right. Gonna work. On, gonna work on my aim a little bit this time. Great crewing, amigos. You found the gold and the pistol arrows. Please put the guns back in the holsters and wait till the car stops before you lift the safety bar. Thanks for being great deputies. There's a big pistol arrow there. All right. Oh, there's the pistol arrow. Oh, there's one in the barrel. Gotta shoot the barber. Get that guy. Okay. We're in the bedroom here. Shot the guy in the window there. There's that couple. 
Oh, I gotta shoot this guy playing cards. Oh. The lady playing guitar here. Oh my gosh, you shoot her pants off. I, 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 can't, I, I can't believe I shot a lady's pants off. That's wildly inappropriate. Okay, shoot the ammunition there. That's, there we go, there's the, there's the explosion. Oh look at there's the train. Train there rolling underneath. Pistolero round up there. Behind the car ride, the speedway here, we have this backdrop. It definitely looks like it was part of a dark ride at some point. Am I crazy? Or am I just, am I crazy to see dark rides everywhere? That looks like that may have been part of uh, some sort of dark ride at some point. Little roller coaster over here resembles uh, Speedy Gonzales from the old Looney Tunes cartoons. A big long mouse there. Well, let's cool it with the thrill rides and uh, do a nice little carousel ride. Like I said, got some uh, interesting colored horses here, some brightly colored horses. What horse should we go with? This brightly colored cotton candy horse. Let's see what else, uh, see what else they offer here. Got a wide variety of brightly colored horses. Go, let's go with one that goes up and down. I think I, I think this one's a little tiny, but I think we'll ride this pony here. And here we go. If you were watching this channel last year, last summer, that was the summer of carousels where I tried to ride as many carousels as possible. Of course, there's no reason I can't continue to ride carousels. This is this current year. This is the year of the pressed penny. Sadly, I don't think they have any pressed pennies here at uh, Family Kingdom. So we'll have to settle for the carousel. You can see my little horse there. He may be small, but he's got a lot of horsepower. That'll do, Pony. That'll do. Those are human beings being flung in the air in a giant slingshot. I honestly say, I, I, I can honestly say, I'm pretty open to trying new rides, new experiences. I doubt I will ever, ever, ever get on one of these. We have another full-sized roller coaster here, kind of a uh, wild mouse style. It's called Twist and Shout. So it's got like a little like 50 there a car, a little classic car, going around those horrifying wild mouse turns there. Guess we should, uh, Give this one a try too. There we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, God! That was brutal! Oh, oh the twisted shout here. Ah. 
Oh, I got the sun in my eyes. Yeah. As I've mentioned in previous videos, these curves here on the wild mouse, oh, they're the worst. They're not banked, they're flat. So the, I don't know physics that well, but for some reason that makes them super intense. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right, here we go. Woo! Oh, God. Oh, just painful. Just painful. Oh, here's the drop. Woo! Oh, my gosh. Another drop here. Woo! Oh. Oh. Feels like my hip just popped out of place. Oh. And prepare for the sun stop. There we go. And since there's currently no one else riding this ride, I guess I will give you guys uh, a full front POV or point of view so you can kind of see uh, what I saw. We're in the red car this time. All right. Has a full view of the twist and shout. It's kind of pointed in this direction, but when we start twisting around, you can see, uh, see all of uh, you can see almost the entire family kingdom when you're not twisting. Ah, uh, jeez, this is intense. This is intense. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh that was like a double. Something or other there. We quick turn. Another drop. Oh, oh my God. Just when you think you're gonna catch a nice view. And that that was the twisted shout. What is this maniacal thing here? Master, you've got to scream a lot louder. Telling them to scream. For some reason, they're not screaming. I, I think I would be screaming. Yabba dabba do. Yabba Oh my gosh. That looks mortifying. Oh my gosh. I don't think I've ever seen this contraption before. What would you even call this thing? Oh, it's letting them down at least. Jeez. Oh, they look miserable. And I think the only way to end the evening is a nice, refreshing plunge on the log flume. Oh, here it comes. Moderately soggy. Log awaits that jump on here while it's moving. All right, leaving the log station. And I was looking at the ride before I got on, and it appears that this log is not just a log, it's not just a flume, currently in the flume, but it also has wheels on it. It looks like it actually takes a dive um, with its wheels. It's almost like converts to like a giant skateboard of some sort. Uh, as I think it's this plunge here is the, the dry plunge. It looks like there's a dry plunge and a wet plunge. This is, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Gotta hold on here. I'm gonna fall off. Okay, just get a grip. Get a grip here. Get ready for the, the dry plunge. Oh my gosh. Woo! <laughs> All right. Pretty soft.
foggy, got my sock wet, got my shorts wet, got my glasses wet. That's only the first, that's only the first, uh, first plunge. That was the dry plunge. At the end of the dry plunge, you do hit the water. So, I think I'm good. I don't think anything's ruined. Got my other camera in my pocket. I think, okay, that was an acceptable amount of water. Got my, got my hat down here because you don't want to, you don't want your hat to fly off. That's the worst possible thing that could happen on a uh, log flume. Well, not the worst possible thing that could happen. Hopefully that's the worst thing that can happen. Oh my gosh, we're getting ready to go, go up here. I'm gonna hang on, there's like a bar here. I'm gonna grip that. We're gonna, oh my gosh. We're gonna go up here for the big, the big wet plunge. Oh my gosh, I'm sitting like here in the middle of the log. I don't know if I'm sitting in properly or not, but uh, I don't know. Let's go here. Right the top. And oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> oh! All right. It's a little soggy. But the first plunge, I think, got me more wet. The dry plunge got me more wet. Am I, I'm just nonsense at this point <laughs> as we gently finish our cruise back into the station Yeah, I figured before we say goodnight, we'd uh, just walk down here and say hello to the ocean. Yeah, the water looks a little choppy tonight. So thank you for joining me here tonight in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Tonight we visited Family Kingdom, a wonderful old school amusement park that has been alongside the ocean here since 1966. Now I'm gonna be here in Myrtle Beach for a few days. Um, if you guys have any suggestions of things you'd like to see me check out while I'm here, please leave a comment in the comment section. It's been a few years since I've been here. I don't really know what's, what's going on. Oh, the ocean. Sorry, the ocean just tried to swallow me there. Uh, it's been a few years. I don't know exactly um, what's new here in Myrtle Beach. I've been looking around a few things. So leave some comments in the comment section. Uh, make sure you let me know where you want me to check out while I'm here in Myrtle Beach. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, thank you to those of you who watch every video. It means the world to me. Um, got a lot of plans coming up this summer and uh, too numerous to name at this point, but I hope you guys uh, will enjoy it. Uh, if you do like these videos, please subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Um, I travel around the country with some roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun, random stuff. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider contributing to Patreon, $3 or more. Get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop. Uh, as well as uh, doing personalized messages on Cameo. The information for all that is in the description of this video. And of course, all of that helps keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.